So, my sister in California. Hey, Antoinette. Uh, one of her statements is always with all this gay and elites and sacrifice and all of this. Her saying is, I'm still waiting to find out who's not a part of it. In other words, who hasn't wore the red shoes, whether it's the rubber ugly little shoe toy clown looking boots or the red shoes that's made of children's skin. These are blood shoes. Uh huh. Or <clears throat> red shoes like the Pope was wearing. Um, yeah, go look it up. Or wearing a purple or sacking somebody. Or, um, you know, has purple on when a news reporter is reporting or you have a purple jacket on, a suit jacket at that. But anyway, <clears throat> my sister saying is, I'm still waiting to see who's not a part of it. And so I came across a friend, a constituent, because uh, uh, some of you guys know that I was an expiring, uh, aspiring um, singer slash actor, comedian, whatever. Uh, and one day I'm going to tell my story. But it seems like I don't have to because everybody's coming out. Even <clears throat> an old G, as they call him, on the net, uh, on the internet. Someone just did an interview with this person. And um, I had the privilege of meeting them and busting it up with them and uh, trying to network with them. But once I network, I would ask three certain questions. And maybe I'll share those three questions with you. And depending on how they answered it, was my uh-uh or okay, you good. And most of the time, I got an uh-uh or not the answer I was looking for. But I knew that the reason why they didn't answer it the correct way, because they was a part of it, afraid to tell about it, um, or have experienced it in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I was trying to find this person wearing a dress. But I ain't researching hard like I used to. Um, but as you know, some of my old constituents, old friends, if you will, was a lot of the older celebrities like Bernie, Bernadette, Bernadette uh, Stain is that's me and my son. Because I went to a VIP party, which I used to go to all of them just about. And <clears throat> that's Delma from Good Times, if you're not familiar with her um, government name. Um, and that she knows, and that's my son, as you can tell, we look alike, as they say. But this was 2006. Okay? This was 2006. And um, we're at a celebrity birthday party for all you writers and readers out there. Zane, the author, the producer, the writer. Um, we were at her 40th birthday party. And some of everybody was there, including um, JJ. Well, all right. Um... And, oh my God, the beautiful, beautiful Will Downing. That voice, um, oh my God, a whole lot of um, comedians and um, some actors. Just, I got to meet um, Bernie's mom. I met her mother, looked just like her. Her mother was real, real high yellow. And i never forget she said, like her 
her husband talking about my son. <laughs> and um anyway, I did this video to share with you. Um, you know, I was an inspiring actress and I was I was in in the crevices, as my sister said, I was in the lion's den. Um, I thank God God got me out. But my friend, constituent, um, in 2000, this is, this is him from Sanford and Son, Damon Wilson, um, does, as some call him, he signed for me, for my daycare, because I had a business. One of them was my daycare. And he signed, the name of my daycare was the Anointed Children's Daycare. And he signed it. And this was in 2000. Um, to, you know, to hang, he go to frame, to hang on the wall of my daycare, along with a whole host of others. And <clears throat> I did this video, I'm rambling on, but anyway, Des, the mind, which I'm sure they don't call him that anymore, because he's a preacher and um, has been since early 2000s, um, traveling all over the world. There I am. There he is. That she knows. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Um, and like my sister said, I'm still trying to find out who's not a part of it. I won't say that he's a part of it. Um, but I'll leave it as that. Anyway, I'm trying to find him in his dress. I'm trying to find purple around him. I'm trying to find him being somewhere on a stage or wherever. And um, the background is blue. I'm trying to find him in some red shoes, sneakers. Um, those are all telltale signs. I know it sounds like much of nothing. But, oh, trust me, it's something. You're not just going to put on no red shoes, not no whole grown man. And them little sissies, as my grandma used to call them, they'll throw something on. Um, that young lady right there, she's a twin. Shout out to her. Uh, yeah, but he made mention that you had to do something strange for some change to make it big. And honey, I'm glad I made it big for the Lord. And here's a clip of him saying just that. They're coming out the woolworks, and I thank God. I got a story to tell how I made it out and the stuff I seen. The stuff I wouldn't do and didn't do. Um, ugh, I just thank God. But he, DeMond, tells how you got to, your big back got to be bent over. Okay? So, let me just share that with you. And this goes to show that everybody that's still not believing. Oh, he wouldn't do that. He's this, he's that. She wouldn't do that. Oh, I love Carly B. Oh, my God. Not Beyonce. Y'all crazy. Y'all delusional. Like the Bible says, we became lovers of ourselves, believing these people and not God. But let me get to the clip and <clears throat> let me leave you with this reminder. If you took the money, which I said to my son, and now he's seeing, thank you, Jesus. If you took the money, you did all the things they needed you to do that was shady and funny. And I don't mean the laughter kind. Okay? 
If you was on the TV screen in a thousand movies, if you got on red shoes, if you seen red shoes, purple on, if you wore that dress, background was blue, like Jay-Z, his background was blue, 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 blue. When he was on stage, it was blue. Just check it out. That meant he was safe. He ain't had to do no sacrifices or nothing at the time. Now, once your background or color, you wear a certain color or something, that tells the next level of what must be done. Red, red shoes mean you got a sack. If you don't know what sack is, the full word makes the sound of mice in it. Okay, you put those two words together with the F, and you'll get your word. But red shoes mean you got your first sack, and it was nine times out of ten an infant, a newborn preferably. So anyway, let me show you this clip of what he, how he's telling the truth. Listen, everything you hearing about <clears throat> I was getting ready to spell out a word <laughs> and then add the word daddy on it but everything you have hearing about puff daddy oh help me jesus everything you hearing about the rappers that's supposed to be gay and all of this yes it's all true and it's all coming out in the words of cat williams i don't know if i'm gonna say it verbatim or not but he said year 22 is when i expose you now that's the way i said it but he said, year 22, everybody's going to be exposed. Everybody. So, without further ado, let's take a listen to Des. I mean, Des uh, uh, Demond Wilson Lamont, a.k.a. Lamont from San the Sun. He's telling. And he's an old, as they called him, an OG. And so am I. Hollywood, I've never had anything to do with any kind of click. I'm not a clickish person. Right. I, 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 I was a leader. I ain't never followed nobody. So these clicks, I can tell you things about people you named that the, the, the little Fruit Loops, big bend over billies. You cannot make it to the top in that industry without selling your soul. Well, again, here you go. My industry, it's not my industry. Um, before I end this video, I want to give a shout out to comedy hype <clears throat> proud of you for brave in a while when you talk to these ojs my hand is raised we <clears throat> seem like we coming for you but we just setting the record straight and you did a good job uh con containing your excuse me your mannerism um because it had it been somebody else they'd have been like oh you coming for me call me you know i'm 35 i'm young you went on. You carried on. That's exactly what break a leg means. <clears throat> and so everybody that's going to see this video, if you want to see the full um, comedy hype interview with my, I guess, constituent, we don't know if he's still here or not, <laughs> the real one, um, with the interview of Desmond <clears throat> Wilson from Sanford and Son, from, 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 from. Um, you can check it out, <clears throat> excuse me, on Comedy Hype. Again, shout out to you, Comedy Hype. Um, and so I'm going to round this up. Guys, you need to stay awake. God has not allowed you to live this long for you to still be saying, Beyonce is not a witch. Uh, buzz, uh, 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 swarming all on other people's pages, harassing them. For a person that sacrificed probably somebody you know. <laughs> I got a story about Jay-Z. Sure did because he used to hang in and around my way. And I used to see him often. He had a son in Philadelphia in the projects. Yup. I knew the mother. Still know the mother. Um, And since then, there have been some death in her family. But anyway, I digress. Let me get back to this. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. S -s -s wake up. Oh, here we go. 
Listen to this. And I and it made me think when you just said kind of the comment about some of the people that we've known in the industry and what they might have to do to get to the top. You give me all of them. All of them. You name your biggest black actors. You name your biggest white actors. You name your biggest female Latino actresses. They all have to do it. Them. All of them. You name your biggest black actors. You name your biggest white actors. You name your biggest female Latino actresses. They all have to do it. Actors. You name your biggest female Latino actresses. They all have to do it. Ask me to if I wanted to do a series with Red Fox. So I've never been a part of any of that nonsense. I don't respect those people. I don't care about that. I've never been a part of any of that nonsense. I don't respect those people. I don't care about that. So I've never been a part of any of that nonsense. I don't respect those people. I don't care about that. Yo, discernment and answers and the truth will come from God. What I definitely can tell you is, shout out to Cat Williams. Um, you, 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 you were very, very warm and cool and cordial when you was chilling here in Philly at the basketball game. <laughs> Me and my son enjoyed you. Um, it's real, and we need to stop playing. Like these people, which are people, are God. Because as I taught my children, and they even I even heard my oldest son saying this to me, reminding me, <clears throat> and telling their own children. People are just people with titles. Unless they deem themselves as such. I like the truth to me. Shout out to Demond Wilson if he's still with us. The real one. Y'all, I said it. And if he really the real one, he'll know why I'm saying that. But, um, Cat Williams, keep going. <laughs> and the Lord is with you. Because <clears throat> like you said, all will be exposed in 2024. And that's true. You'll see. Everything's being exposed. Uh, murders from 25 years ago, cases are being reopened. It's called 360 and reverse. <laughs> Same thing. But anyway, shout out again to Comedy Hype. <clears throat> shout out to uh, Demine, which is my nephew's name, um, Wilson, uh, and shout out to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Cause I am I. Huh? She, she knows. I love you. Stay woke and keep them first, and put them in everything. In the words of my grandson, the night before his graduation, he graduated. And finished school at age 16. And we was going to his graduation. We was, you know, we ironed out his robe. And he tried it on the night before. And I did a video. If you can go on this channel and go way back. Back to J J May? July? One, May. <clears throat> and I said, do you have anything you want to say to the people? And he said, keep God first. Don't keep him last. We're going to go out with that one. I love you, grandson. And I love you, too. Stay woke. Because it's real. And it's the truth. I love you. Oh, and shout out to Bernie. Shout out to you if you're still the real one, too. And again, if you if you are the real one, you'll know why I'm saying that. Bernadette Staines, that is. I love you. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Ooh, this mess.